Hello everybody, Mike Hoffman here with another look at Photoshop CS6 Beta. And today we're going to talk about a little feature that has flown under the radar just a little bit, but it's an interesting new feature and one that you might have a lot of fun with. In Photoshop CS6, Adobe has given us a new type of image adjustment. And this new image adjustment is called a color lookup. We click on image adjustments color lookup and we get this dialog box, which is a little bit strange. It's very techy after a fashion. But what we can do is just pick any one of these three items. And then within these three, we have drop down lists. And within the drop down lists are a bunch of different presets for color lookups. And we can simply just pick any one of these. And we can actually, using the arrow keys in Windows, we can scroll through them and you can see a variety of different appearances as we scroll through the different presets in this dialog box. Now what exactly are we doing with this dialog box and how does it work? Well, I just want to give you a brief explanation because it is a very technical subject. Lookup tables come to us from the film industry and are generally used to simulate the way an image will look when it's printed to film. However, with different presets, we can simulate many different looks, some realistic, some surrealistic. Let me give you an example of how this works. Here we've got an image of a standard color wheel. And if we wanted to make a change to the colors within this color wheel, we might, for example, choose hue and saturation, which has been in Photoshop a long time. And if we change the hue, by dragging this slider, notice that the color wheel simply rotates around itself. The saturation and the brightness stay where they are, and the hues just cycle in a circular motion. However, with the color lookup table, we can think of the color gamut as a cube, and based on the individual components of red, green, and blue, we look within the cube and we find some other color that could be any arbitrary color and that color is assigned to the pixel based on looking it up in this cube and that's why we call it a lookup table or just color lookup. So that's as technical as I'm going to get on this. Let's put it to work and see how it works. So we saw that we can choose from the image menu adjustments and color lookup and pick the color lookups from there but even more impressively, Adobe has created this as an adjustment layer. So we can click New Color Lookup Adjustment Layer right here in the Adjustments panel, and we get the same dialog. So within here, we can choose 3D Lookup Table File, and we can pick any one of the presets. I happen to like the crisp, warm look. But we could also choose any one of the abstract profiles, and there are a variety of those, as you can see here. And we can choose any one of these device link files, and there are a few of those as well. And any one of these can be enhanced and added to. If you go out on the web and find lookup tables available, you can add them into Photoshop, and you can simply load them here within this dialog box. In this case, I'm going to go back to the crisp, warm look. And now that it's an adjustment layer, I have the ability to do all the standard things I can do with adjustment layers. For example, I can change the opacity and dial it back if I think the effect is a little too intense. I can change the blending mode. For example, I can change this one to soft light if I like that better. And of course, being an adjustment layer, I have the ability to work on my layer mask. So I can simply grab a brush and paint on the layer mask to hide the effect in areas where I think it's a little bit too intense. And this works the same way as any other adjustment layer with a layer mask. So by painting on the mask with black, we can mask out the effect. Lookup tables can add a variety of different looks to your images. For example, here we have an image of some trees and a lake and here we might choose to add a color look up and perhaps in this case we might go with an abstract look and pick the sienna blue 
And in this case, we've transformed the image from a normal green trees and blue skies to something that looks a little bit more of an autumn image with reddish foliage. We can choose another image here. And here we've got some colorful shirts on a rack. We add our color lookup table, choose a device link profile, and maybe we choose color negative. And we can cycle the colors around in some abstract ways. So many different things that you can do with lookup tables. As an adjustment layer, they're completely non-destructive. They have the ability to transform your image in a variety of ways and with a variety of presets. Even though this effect comes from the film industry, I'm sure that as creatives, we'll find many interesting and different ways to use this. And so I encourage you to give it a try and see what you can do. Thanks for watching.